All right. Random for all to think about. Spiritual systems and the devil. Who is the devil? What is the devil? How does the devil manifest? Does the devil manifest in physical reality? Is it mental? Is it a concept? Is it a basic concept? Is it levels to it? Is this about the physical reality? Or is this about a misunderstanding of what the devil energy is? Now, people may speak on tarot is devil worshiping, throwing bones is devil worshiping, or worshiping evil or lower vibrations, dealing with the ancestors, dealing with lower vibrations, or, or assuming they lower vibrations. So, I'm going to let y'all answer that question. What's the devil? Who's the devil? And, and, and what vibration are you seeing that in? As far as systems dealing with ancestors, uh, bone throwing, tarot card reading, or whatever else systems there is out there, because I know it's plenty more, right? It's levels to it, right? Is the ancestors a lower vibration at all times? You got to think about that. So if... If somebody passes away, depending upon the vibration that they are in, or depending on whether you're dealing with the lower vibration of it or the higher vibration of it. So this is why it's important to know what ancestors you talk to. Know that your vibration has to be super high if you communicate with one of your ancestors that's in a lower vibration, right? If you're dealing with one of your ancestors that's in a higher vibration, then it would be important for you to be in a higher vibration or a mid vibration so that energy can bring you and pull you up. As far as the devil, the devil energy or the concept of the devil, it manifests in several different dimensions. If you're in a lower vibration and you're interacting with the energy of the devil, quote unquote, the physical, you're gonna deal with the lower aspects of the physical reality, right? But if you understand that the energy got tossed down, right, and became physical to build on the earth, then you know that you have the power to build with this energy. It just depends on every single energy that you pick up in these in these books. They all manifested in different vibrations to different people and gave different abilities or different access to different energy. So that would that would be the same when you're eating tarot cards, that would be the same. When you're dealing with any system of divination, right? So, example, y'all seen me drop my energy down real quick, but y'all also seen me stop reading, cause that's just how I see it. It's not cause I couldn't read; it's cause my energy got dropped down. It was a manipulation, but it was fun. I did it for a minute. It doesn't stop you from communicating. But it definitely affects how you communicate with energy and what energy you communicate with. Now, when you raise your vibration back up, your awareness, once you know, you know. That's one thing I learned that I don't like. But I still want to know what your concept of or what your idea of the devil is and how you feel that it manifests in reality. Because I'm sure that everybody got a different answer depending on where they coming from and their background. My background is like, you know, a little bit of everything. So I see it a little bit different. So let's see how y'all see it. Later.